name is Mikel Graham and I'm here representing Heli Direct and today we're going to be talking about shakeout flights. Now, what are shakeout flights? Shakeout flights are arguably the most important flights you'll do on a helicopter. These are the first handful of flights that you do on a new build, on a rebuild, or after a repair after a crash. The purpose of these flights is to reveal or rather to ensure that everything has been assembled properly and you didn't miss anything during a repair and basically to ensure that the helicopter is safe to fly. These flights will reveal if anything has been missed, a screw was loose or perhaps in a crash you forgot to check something that was not built properly. This is extremely important for beginners and intermediate who don't have the experience to know you know, what are the critical things I should be checking for when building the helicopter and also these first few flights. Or if you are inexperienced in building, you may not have a good sense of how tight you should make a screw before you strip the head, or in some cases, you don't make the screw tight enough. So these initial flights help reveal any sort of issues to ensure that the helicopter is safe to fly at your maximum skill level. So what I like to do in my shakeout flights, I like to just take off, hover, to hover, fly around a little bit, don't push it too hard. Then I bring the helicopter in and I literally just start checking things. I check some critical screws and make sure that, okay, we're good to go. Next flight, same thing, but I push a little bit harder. And I keep repeating this process where land, check everything, and then once I've gotten to the point where I can push the helicopter to the extent of my skills, then we're good to go. So with that said, I have here my Ill Goblin Triami Edition. This is my newest build. So what I'm going to do here is that we're going to go over a few of the critical things that I look for during my shakeout flights. So with that said, let's get started. So after my initial flights, what I like to do is simply go in and check all the major assemblies. Literally just check and shake, shake them and make sure that nothing has come loose. One of the critical things is your fly barless plate. This is really critical. You definitely don't want that to come loose. But literally just take, literally take your hand and just wiggle a lot of all of the major assemblies. All right. Now, after I've done that, what I like to do is check the more critical items. So for example, these control balls and the server control arms. Now for these, I will take an actual screwdriver and go in and ensure that they're still tight. This is true for everything in the head. Make sure, you know, the Jesus bolt is still good. And up here, the control arms, make sure all of this stuff is tight and actually check with a screwdriver. This is also true in the tail. One screw that seems to always come loose, for me at least, is this screw. So I'm very, very diligent about making sure this screw does not back out after the first couple of flights. And I keep checking this screw probably every 20 or 30 flights to ensure it hasn't backed out. But all of these critical components all the spinning components, I will take a screwdriver to ensure that everything is still tight. Also, since this is a belt-driven helicopter, first flight, I like to check the tension to make sure the tension has not changed. That can happen if you didn't properly tighten down the motor mounts or the boom support and tail case. So check the tension, and that's actually really easy to do with the Ill Goblin because we have a tensioner here that tells you the tension of the tail belt. Ensure that that has not changed after a flight. Also, you wanna check your wires, make sure nothing's chafing, no electrical shorts. Just basically do a once over. And you keep doing this until you keep flying the helicopter harder and harder until you're finally at the level you're able to fly it at and everything is still tight. So that's what I like to check during my checkout flights. This ensures that my helicopter is safe to fly and I did not miss anything critical that may lead to a very preventable crash. You don't want to crash a helicopter after repair or a new build simply because you missed the screw or you didn't tighten it down all the way. By doing these checkout flights, you ensure that your helicopter is safe and that you're able to push it to its limits or push it to your limits. 
So that said, please leave any comments or questions down below. I will do my best to answer. And so thank you guys for watching and be safe and happy hovering. Going direct!